welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. This is going to be the first in the video series that I'd like to entitle uh, Avoiding the LED Graveyard. Uh, these panels you see here actually still all function, but their power supplies have all uh, burned out and makes them basically useless because on these commercial uh, panels you just can't buy uh, individual power supplies. But the market for LEDs has changed drastically in the last uh, short period of time. And what I'm hoping to do now, uh, with the help of Sam at uh, Ottawa LED, is I am going to uh, buy the components and I'm going to assemble my own. With that in mind, uh, this first video is uh, going to encompass me making the uh, acrylic housing for uh, the light fixtures. Uh, well, actually for a specific light fixture for a client of mine. Uh, if you noticed on the uh, prior clip, the uh, fixtures had a lot of corrosion on them and that's kind of a nuisance, especially when you're dealing with electronics and such. So I am going to make this uh, out of acrylics so I can avoid that whole problem. Now, all these parts that you're seeing here are going to be uh, in the next video or two. Uh, the initial bit will be me assembling, uh, cutting and assembling those uh, acrylic pieces that look blue at the moment, they're actually black. And all this other material will be, uh, while well, the strips and the power supply and everything else will come into the next video where I will actually assemble all this. So I'll explain how all that works in the next video, but for now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that acrylic and we're going to cut it to size. Now you'll notice that the uh, table saw blade is set really high here. That's because if you uh, have it lower, it tends to push up and bend the acrylic out of the way, as you can see it trying to lift here now, even at this uh, high angle. Uh, this way it, it strikes the acrylic uh, as much a downward stroke as possible and keeps the uh, the uh, cut as straight as possible. Uh, you'll notice even more in the next one where I'm cutting a much thinner sheet. Uh, 1 8 inch acrylic doesn't really have much uh, structural integrity. You'll notice it tend to try to even pull away from the fence here as I'm, uh, when I let go. Uh, you need to hang on to it pretty tight, even though I mean, cutting acrylic is like the <laughs> saw blade is designed to cut much harder things, but it just tends to move around a lot, so you have to hang on to it. And then uh, the next two pieces I'm going to cut off uh, off camera because they're just uh, two more tiny pieces for the end caps. Uh, one of them you can see there, uh, but I do need to drill one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill a piece of wood, and then I'm going to position it over top of where the end's going to be because this is uh, where the electrical cord is going to come out. And I like to back, uh, and well, in this case front as well, uh, when I'm drilling through acrylic. That way you don't get any push through with the drill bit if the drill bit's not completely sharp. And that way you don't end up with any shelling or uh, a, an ugly looking hole, and you end up with something nice and tight like that. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to move on to uh, gluing this all together. Uh, I use methylene chloride. There are other uh, acrylic glues that you can have, but this basically forms a chemical weld. And what I do, well, I was just testing to make sure the applicator was flowing properly. Um, it has a very high va vapor pressure, so uh, it will, uh, when you put the glue on, it will melt both sides of the joint that you're uh, working on, and then when the glue evaporates. Uh, it forms a, a weld, and it's uh, very quick. Uh, this is in four times speed, but you know, you look, if you just divide the time that's going on by four here, uh, you'll be back at normal time, and you realize it's just it goes by pretty fast. It doesn't take that long at all, really. But you know, watching me glue a complete canopy together in ten minutes is uh, probably not as interesting as two and a half minutes. So <laughs> I'll do it this way. Uh, one important thing when you're uh, gluing with uh, methylene chloride, uh, you make sure you don't put more glue on than you require because it will seep through and then when it drips down on the outside of the acrylic, it uh, ends up melting and causing a bit of a, a mar on the material, so it uh, just makes it look ugly. And you'll notice here I have a little bit of an extra uh, lip on this uh, end piece. That's because this canopy is going to be sitting on top of a glass top and I want it to have, uh, well, basically a, uh, a safety guard so it doesn't slide off onto the floor or whatever, so it can't slide in either direction. And I'll glue on the other end. Uh, I tend to uh, always glue in this process because uh, if you cut precisely, 
it's not so bad, but sometimes you'll be off by a, a small amount, like a sixteenth or whatever. And this way all the excess material will be on one side and I can just use a rotor uh, to uh, cut it off. Or if you want, you can actually still use a table saw. And what you do is you just set the blade to the thickness of the acrylic and um, cut through and you can remove the extra bit that way. Also in the back of there you can see something with a uh, bottle with the Novus written on it. Uh, that is acrylic polish and you can get rid of small scratches and blemishes with that sort of stuff. I actually have a video coming up I'm planning on doing uh, for removing scratches from aluminum and uh, it's basically the same product and I will uh, try and cover that at that time as well. So this is almost done. You notice I uh, put the uh, the bottom or the top of the canopy over the edge of the wood I'm working on so I can get my thumb underneath it. Because I remember when I told you in the beginning when you cut it, it doesn't have much structural integrity. Well, it, uh, you need to make sure they're sticking together, so that's what that does. It will uh, hold it up and make sure we end up with the wells. And once you have the joint uh, together, it uh, holds together very well. And we're almost there. What we're going to do is just do the two last pieces. And fortunately, my cutting was reasonable, so I don't have to worry about doing any uh, adjustments to... Uh, any of the size on this particular one. And you also notice I've still uh, left on the blue protective coating. Uh, that just well, does what it says. It's going to protect it from getting scratches until I deliver it to the clients and then I'll just peel it off there. And there you go. That's it. That's the canopy all finished. Uh, this is the housing for the lights. I'm going to cheat a little bit here and show you uh, the results. Uh, I will go into the details of the lighting for this, but a particular client needed uh, a replacement light rather quickly. Uh, so that was just a, a basic unit I built for them, just with a couple light strips, uh, a splash guard, and a ballast, or I'm sorry, power supply. Um, there was no uh, nothing interesting about uh, this particular one, but what I plan on doing in the near future is, like I said, a, a series of these videos. And the things that I would like to cover are um, the benefits and uh, growing potential for each of the different types of light strips, uh, color comparisons on fish and whatnot. So yeah, there's going to be a number of videos. Uh, I plan on setting up a tank uh, at the shop for growing uh, plants to see if I can get uh, a better growth out of certain uh, combinations. Uh, I mean, there are a number of LED light strips available now. 50-50 uh, UV and then uh, recently I've been uh, told that there's a 10k version available so I'm going to do a, a lot of comparisons uh, the amount of light that comes off of these and also the quality of the light and see what grows and what doesn't grow and also do this for marine so enough of that for now uh, in the next uh, video I will uh, show you how to actually put this together and then uh, in the future videos we'll also do uh, the rest of the stuff that I discussed so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video hey everybody thank you for watching my video if you liked it please slap a like below or if you want to see more of this type of video or some of my other work please subscribe to my channel and I will see you there thank you very much for watching bye for now